everyone, welcome to the Restaurant Show, and I am here with Jeff Mativi. He's the culinary director of one of the newest concepts on the island, Hickory Tavern. Welcome. Thanks, Orga. Thanks for having me. I am really excited to find out about um, all the food that you have brought here and kind of about the new concept because this is really new to the entire area, like even the southeast area, at least in the South Carolina area. Yeah, we're brand new to the coast. Definitely. Yeah, I love it. So tell us a little bit about the concept. Uh, we're a family-friendly uh, tavern-style food. Okay. A uh, place you walk in and you know you can have your family and your friends, or you can be with your buddies at the bar having a great time, but we yeah. welcome all sorts. I mean, it's I mean, just a fun atmosphere. It's a big restaurant, too, so I mean, there's a lot of different aspects of it. And I can see it, too, reflected in the food here, because there's a lot of different um, themes going on here as far there as the is. food. Yeah, I love it. Um, and you, as a culinary director, do you actually get to um, Get your hands into this. And I do. I love um, it. All these dishes in front of me, I actually created. So oh, it's a, uh, it's fun. It. It's, a, it's a labor of love for me to do be able to share put it in front recipes. Of everybody. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Um, now, I, I mean, I love everything here. Now, when I was helping him bring it in, I was like, oh, let me help you with that. And I went right for those nachos. Tell, can you, let's let's give it a spin we on need, the board we here. We need to give him a spin. Yeah, now tell me about the, I mean, this, let's start up, let's start off the table the right, the right way, right? These are our barbecue chicken nachos. Oh uh, what we gosh. do is we put some zesty barbecue sauce, our scratch made queso, yeah. uh, sour cream, cilantro, a little bit of green onion, and then some uh, shredded uh, Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese. Right. Um, um, I call that the head turner. This is, I mean, turning it on the yes. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> like literally, as we, we were, I was like, here, let me grab that yeah. and the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> so, okay, so this is one of the things, obviously, this must be one of your most popular. It does, things. it sells a lot during game days and stuff too. Nice cold beer, a nice tasty beverage with some nice piping hot barbecues. I love it, I love it. Now, along with that, this must be another one of your um, really popular appetizers. Yeah, right? we the sell wings. a ton of wings. We roughly have about 12 different wing flavors from okay. Korean barbecue to hot to medium, you name it. Gotcha. And this is something, again, um, that you could, sh great to share, great for, um, I know you guys aren't, I, you can be, some people thought, and I don't know I was the same way, it's a new sports bar, but yes. it's not necessarily a sports bar, because this is, because then we go over to the Brussels sprouts and salmon, that's not sports bar food. It's not at all. Right? It's funny, is we like to call ourselves uh, upscale casual with a TV problem. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we like to call it. <laughs> A 74 TV problem, right? Because you guys yes. have a lot of TVs we there. We do, in projection screens as well. So that game day destination, this is the place. Right. Whether it's, I mean, whatever sport it is, too. It's not necessarily just football, but every all the sports are on From all the baseball, time. college football, you name it. We have all the events. If we can catch it on TV, we'll have it in. Gotcha. And you definitely have enough TVs to cover all of those. We do have a ton. We do. Um, but tell me a little bit, again, about these, maybe some of your entrees here that normal, that like right here, what is that? I know that's a cedar plank, right? Yes, so, this is one of our signature items. This is our cedar plank plank salmon. Love it. What we do is we rub it with a pecan rub and mm -hmm. then we actually char it on our char grill. It's on a piece of white cedar. Ah. Now tell me a little bit, just a tip for people at home, because I know I've seen those in the grocery store mm -hmm. and some people kind of get scared to use because, oh God, what do I do with this? Next thing you know, they're actually using it as like the as the fire source. Exactly. Um, what do you do? I see a nice char on there. How do you do that? Uh, we actually soak them for about 15 to 20 minutes before okay. we get um, before we're going to put them on the grill. Right. We'll right. let them char up nice and nice and crisp on the grill. At, yeah. And it uh, kind of smolders on there. Nothing right. to worry about any fire hazards or anything. But with all the water and everything, it tries to, um, you know, we try to go against anything flaming up on the grill. I love it. So and you actually serve it just like we this. We serve it right on the and cedar cooks, plank. Does it cook on the cedar plank It cooks too? right on the cedar plank so you get that nice yeah. uh, zesty cedar flavor. And I then we put a, a pecan rub on top of it as well. I love it. That is absolutely gorgeous. And really healthy too. Gluten it free. Um, gluten free menu. You guys have a lot of items that are gluten free because I guess this too would be considered a gluten free item. Yeah, what we do is we have a, um, actually it's funny is we call it gluten friendly because you oh, know you yeah. have uh, you got some of those people that have the celiac disease and some of those right. different diseases. We try to, you know, get as close as we possibly can to try and, you know, not re misrepresent ourselves. Right, well. absolutely. And yeah. if you have any questions, obviously, you, is it marked on the menu or can you ask your server? You can about ask your it? server for the menu, and you'll actually, it's actually available for all of our patrons Wonderful. when they come in. So it's very, very friendly f um, to people who, you know, have some, uh, I would say, allergy issues. Oh yeah, hundred um, percent. And of course, the good old burger, which is just, oh. I mean, that's thick and juicy. I you love gotta it. love the burger. That's <laughs> our um, blended steak burger um, that we actually have done for us. It's got some okay. chuck and some round in it. Ah. Uh, and then we put on a buttery brioche bun. And yeah. then uh, we do something a little bit different too. We actually shave our white onions that we put oh. it on there. Just so you know, get the big oniony bite and it yeah. all, it's a good solid bite all together. Absolutely. Now with all of your entrees, um, as far as uh, availability, when are you open for service? For Is it 
Uh, we're open about. for service Sunday through Thursday from 11 a.m. to uh, midnight. Okay. And oh. then Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. till 2 in the morning. Wow. Full menu? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Well, we actually have a late night menu that starts after midnight. Gotcha. So mm -hmm. so after, and that's on the weekends, there is a late night menu yes, that, you guys can, that, um, that you can do. Now, of course, last but not least, what are these beautiful desserts? Oh, my gosh. You know, it's funny. Is, um, I was in the town about two or three weeks ago, and I was looking for <laughs> some new zesty desserts for the menu. Yeah. Uh, these are done for us by Baby Cakes of Hilton Head. Nice oh, local company. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love them. Yeah, Bernie does a great job She's for us. She's great. So a little yeah. shout out yeah. to Baby Cakes. Um, so tell us about what you have coming in from them. Um, she did two delicious desserts for us. This is our Thin Mint Cheesecake. It's actually made out of Girl Scout cookies. Love it. And it's got love a Thin it. Mint crust. Great. And then she did a lemon zest cheesecake for us as well. This looks delicious. Nice oh. and light. And and you can't even hardly eat the whole thing. It's so it's, well, it's got such a sweet bite. Well, Jeff, I'm going to challenge you, girl. Let's, <laughs> let's not underestimate me, okay? I like it. That is awesome. So there's some um, great local desserts um, supporting um, some, someone who's been around the island forever. So I love that. Um, so again, where are you guys located again? And so we could let the guests know who are checking out for the first time. Uh, we're over in Shelter Cove Lane. Uh, we're at 44 Shelter Cove Lane in the parking lot with the Kroger and Poseidon. And all those okay, guys. great. It used to be many, many, many moons ago. Mm -hmm. It used um, used to be Fuddruckers. It did a really long time ago. But you guys have really renovated it. It doesn't even look like the same building anymore. It's a so. great look for us. Yeah. Um, normally our stores are a dark wood look to yeah. us. We did all white in there, and we even changed up our uniforms for more of a coastal feel. Yeah, absolutely. And so it's, it's been really fun putting the store together. Great, well, had a blast. Thank you so much for joining me today and letting everybody know about the new uh, restaurant on the island, Hickory Tavern, over in Shelter Cove. And uh, make sure you check them out both on Facebook and Twitter. Um, and uh, make sure you guys go check them out this summer and bring all of your guests. Large party seating available? Large party seating is available. Wonderful. Call ahead reservation. Call ahead reservation. We use a no wait. We use an app on your phone, actually. Oh, there we go. We do. Tech friendly also. <laughs> we'll be back in just a moment. And thank you so much, Jeff, for joining us. Thank you very much. All right.